Was it really, I mean, thinking to find his own ancestor in these days? I mean, he by chance found out that, I mean, his surname Chun came from China. But, I mean, as a contemporary artist, nowadays doesn't come from one of the objectives to achieve or to make a one of the answer to his own life, I mean, to the society or to any, I mean, political or, I mean, bigger, bigger narrative statement in one hand. Because interesting thing nowadays for the contemporary artist, sometimes from the very absurd, banal idea, from looking for his own ancestor's surname in China, he, he's not the artist from 70s or 80s, I mean, uh, really going to, I mean, somewhere to looking for his ancestor for his own goods. It's not like that. As an artist, his gesture to, to look at his uh, surname and then start to think, oh, where does it come from? Maybe I think he's a diaspora Korean artist in a way. He lives in Bremen for 19 years. Because in the West, actually your surname has a many different storytelling. I mean, the carpenter, uh, Mr. Carpenter, actually, their ancestor from the Carpenter uh, family. And every surname, many of surnames in the West has their own storytelling. But in the East, we don't have that sort of storytelling for each our surname. Maybe the idea actually came uh, from the very, I mean, uh, mundane I mean, questions to look at his surname and then start to think about where does this come from. And then he started to make his own, own journey to China. But that, that moment, I think, this very simple idea became an inspiration of Kyungwoo's Thousands Project. And he started to meeting people in China whose surname is Chan. But it wasn't that easy to look for Chan's family in China because it took for two months, uh, two years, no, almost for three years, to look for these I mean, people whose surname is Chan. And it's more likely meeting people in China and making a conversation with those people. As you can see some of the photograph on your right hand side in the other side of the room, uh, there is a small studio he set up every time he visits China. And uh, he invited people to come to his studio and sitting down together to look at his eyes for two minutes with all individual 1,000 people. Uh, one minute with, uh, with 1,000 people. If you can imagine that moment, Totally, I mean, on, on, I mean the, uh, the person whom you never meet before, they just start to get together with a, uh, the same spirit. They might be, I mean, descendant to each other. And those people come to his studio and sit down there. For one minute, they actually see each other with an open, I mean, long exposure camera. They are actually talking without saying anything. So I think it's a really beautiful moment. I think you can actually experience with this uh, photograph. And even with this general photograph, one guy actually costumed as the, uh, the general Chan Man Li, who became a first man from China to become a, I mean, making the whole surname in Korea, Chan. Uh, he died, I mean, when he was nine, 49 years old. So he made a 49 minutes of long exposure of this photograph and sitting down together uh, for that moment. So all this photograph doesn't just come out from the intention of taking some people's photograph. It is a sort of conversation and a spiritual journey with those, I mean, newcomer with photographer, with the artist, through, through those silent moments. So what I wanted to say is that this sort of meeting with 1,000 people in China, 
actually start to making a very, very interesting long series of conversation through his series of five exhibitions until today in a, five, a fifth edition. So it wasn't a just a documentation of thousand people, and he started to make that conversation. But at the same time, I think I mean artist is really interested in individual those I mean people's life, at least in a very temporary time. But he does care of individual people, and after taking their photograph, he come back to China and showed all the photograph to those people in the village. And the village people, I mean, came together to look for their faces and write down their name and the year of birth and uh, give it back to artist by post. The reason why I put this, I mean, uh, this aspect into my attention is because of that. Uh, he does care of those process of making that work at the same time, I mean, presenting the work as uh, his art form. Because when we presented this art, I mean, uh, this project, one, uh, thousands in Liverpool, it was a I mean, different context of the locality at the time. Because Liverpool was a port city, and he, uh, when he presented 1,000 project, he also wants to think about another performance together. Enough to giving that much energy to, to realize this project because uh, it was too hard. It was uh, really hard and um, it took a long time. Um, I'm sure that everybody is interested in their own route, where we are from. This is the very natural part of human being. And, uh, but I was not that much uh, interested in it. So, and um, I don't believe in these uh, kinds of searching for root, something like that, because it doesn't make sense, as far as I believe, because how much could we find out? Maybe we can find out some generations. Why not my name is uh, Schmidt, or why not my name is Armstrong? So maybe we can find out some generation, but I think uh, finally we have to ask about question about Bible or any, any religion uh, problems or questions. So it is, to me, it's very abstract and then it's, um, it's not that much. But uh, I know there is part of our life, a human being, so everybody has uh, this in their memory or heart. So Chun is um, a kind of metaphor to me. Maybe it's a more personal, but it is to me, of course, more interesting to, to develop, to motivate it myself. But it's uh, actually thousand is, uh, is not important. Uh, maybe people who have the name, but um, and uh, I think uh, we are all trying to find some connections, and it is so complicated. But um, I wanted to have a sim uh, concept as easy as possible, as simple as possible. And this is the name. The name is not so important. Chun is the kind of metaphor. Because every name is important, not just Chun. And there are, let's say, what is your last name? Guzavska. There are enough family of Guzavska. I'm sure there are more than a thousand. So if I have time, I can collect thousands of Guzavska. Okay. So this is a universal theme, and then this is just kind of sample. Of course, it was uh, not easy because it was not in Korea, it was not in uh, Germany or Poland, and you cannot imagine China is most expensive, most difficult to place to realize your art project. <laughs> Considering the task you you, you did, uh, having done your work, are you closer to the answer? to the question, who am I? I wish, I know, but I don't think so. <laughs> My intention is not to find out an answer. Answers are boring. So I think it's about questions. So as, as I am interested more in your question than my answer, because